so I think that's going to be my new intro. Just every time I'm sitting down here, I'm just going to put something on. And today it's Initial D on Hulu, which is a fantastic anime. Like once a year, I just go through this phase where I'm like, I really need to watch all of this right now. So I wanted to make kind of a 2020 return part two video where I just talked about stuff that was kind of in the back of my brain that I either wasn't super clear about in yesterday's video. I wanted to address more stuff, you know. And so if you haven't watched part one, it is right there. I'll put a little card up. So first of all, for all the support that I got, it didn't like blow up or anything. But for me, relatively, all the support that I got was amazing. Like especially Mason, Jack, Eric, Noah, um, all you guys commenting and, and trying to give me some feedback. I appreciate that more than you guys know. Like seriously, that right to the heart. You guys mean the world to me. And in addition to that, the camera, it's not great. Um, I originally got it for streaming, so when I'm like, you know, that big on the side of the screen, it works perfectly fine. But when I'm full screen, even though it is 1080p, there's just a lot going on, which you guys gave me a lot of props for the setup, thank you. It took so long to get all this put up. Like literally weeks of just like constantly just like adding something to the walls. And so I, I really appreciate that you guys appreciate the setup. Um, you, I appreciate that you appreciate whatever. I can't. I'm not good at these. Hopefully I can get a new camera. Obviously right now everything is going to the car. I can't. I cannot afford to get a new camera right now. But I would like to in the future. Um, and then beyond that, I got a lot of things saying that I should do vlogging. That like this video or part one was actually really enjoyable. That I should vlog. I would love to do that in the future, um, but right now I'm limited to this, which is my phone. That's what I take almost all my videos with, besides videos where I'm sitting here and I have my stream set up. But I'm not a, I'm not a douche tuber. It's very difficult for me to. What's up, guys? Lucarini HD here. What's up, guys? We're out here at the function. Like I can't, I can't do that. Not that I would even have to do that, but it would just be so much more natural for me to do it with a GoPro. Like. That's kind of where I started with phones and GoPros. Back in 2017, when Graham Green, he was the first person who ever brought me on stage to do video. Literally, I, I was like standing beside the stage and I was like, hey, Mr. Graham Green, can I do some videos? He was like, man, get up here. Dude, I, I used a fake ID just to get into that show. I was 17 years old, like it was an 18 plus show. I got a fake when I was 16 just so I could go to 18 plus shows. Like that, that was how much I loved concerts and stuff like that i i don't really even drink that much to this day like i i'm it's not a you know it's not a big part of my life but going to shows was huge i i needed to be a part of that so shout out to graham green if you're not already subscribed to him why are you subscribed to me he is so like he's what i aspire to be so right there card go subscribe to his channel please he is one of the original like friends you know he's helped me from the beginning um i love that guy to death so in yesterday's video there was some pretty not severe but it was noticeable frame drop in two of the clips uh it was the virtual riot at dance festopia and a little bit less or so but still visible uh skrillex at hijinks uh where i was showing like all the clips that i have i'm not sure why that happened there was a couple of things that i didn't like like there was kind of artifacts where there was text up you could see a little bit of blurriness even though it was at 1080p and it was recorded at 1080p there definitely shouldn't be artifacts showing like kind of graining around uh, around the lettering i don't know maybe it was because i exported the video from filmora to my computer and then uploaded it from my computer directly to youtube maybe i should cut the middleman and just upload it from my video editor to youtube but then i feel like I don't get as much, you know, freedom to do what I want with uh, the metadata and all that. I feel like it's easier to do that while you're uploading it because it gives you that option. Speaking of uploading, oh my god. Like, I talked yesterday about how bad my Wi-Fi is, but I was not expecting it to be this bad. I started uploading at like 3, 3.30, and it was up at 7. Like, it was less than a gig. That video was like 800 megabytes. Like, that's, that's, that's a large file, but oh my god. God, three and a half hours? Like, I have to completely rethink my schedule. That's why I upload that video today. I'm recording the night before because 
I have to plan ahead now. I can't just record it on that day and send it up. Like it's, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna get up until night. And I don't want to do that. You know, I wanna kind of take advantage of people will say getting off work or getting out of school and then watching the videos. I wanna take advantage of that afternoon period. I can't do that if it's going up at seven. So I'm gonna be probably, you know, doing stuff the night before, like I am right now, uh, and then starting the upload. I don't know, 7 a.m. <laughs> just to make sure it goes up. Probably 11 or noon. We'll we'll play it by ear. Upcoming stuff. I don't have a really official schedule, uh, but I know I won't be doing these sit down talks uh, many times a week because they require a lot more editing. There's a lot of lulls. If you counted how many times I said um or um. There's a lot like I I quick cut a lot of those out Which is something I actually learned from phase Jeff He does that a lot in his videos where you just see like a quick cut and uh, it, it helps especially for stuff like this No one's a perfect speaker everyone lulls. There's bound to be quick cuts. It didn't happen often though like I I was All right about it. So there's no official schedule for that, but in terms of shows I have coming up hopefully depending on the car situation like I I don't know. I, I Maybe I can get to a train and get down to Chicago because I want to see Sudden Death is coming up at the Concord Music Hall. I don't know who's opening for him. But then on the 21st of January, there's Trampa, Faizo, and Figure. That is a stacked lineup that I fully intend on it. Like, fully intend on attending? It sounds horrible, but we're going to go with that. Uh, I will be there. So if you want to see those clips, Instagram, Snapchat, follow and i'll be posting videos a lot earlier than these because like i said um two terabytes of content that i have to go through and upload oh <laughs> also this is my mic by the way that's what i was you guys want to do some asmr Okay, that wasn't fun. I just unplugged my mic for the sake of an ASMR gag. <laughs> this setup is really janky right now. It's like oh, really old and it needs to be upgraded a little bit, a lot, a lot of bit. I completely forgot what I was talking about. Um, I know I was talking about Trampa, Faizo, and, uh, and Figure. That's coming up. And then on the 31st, I fly out to Seattle for the Thunderdome. Which, thunder no! I'm so jazzed. Look, look at, look at that. Are you, are you kidding me? Trampa back to back Marauder. Calcium and Yex. Oh my God! Just, uh, that. That's a dangerous lineup. Uh, that I am so, so, so excited for. So uh, that'll be definitely coming up. Like I said, I might have said this already. I don't know. Because of this whole mic thing, my, I'm on a lot of flow. Uh, Instagram, Snapchat, everything goes up there first because I'm really behind on videos. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch up within the next decade. Uh, we'll definitely have to see with that. I, uh, I don't know. Like, I really want to catch up, but it's, it's going to be really difficult. So, to wrap up the video, I wanted to talk about my outro really quick, which I don't know why I overthink intro-outro, but that's just me, you know, undiagnosed OCD. I wanted to do pretty much what I did yesterday, which is thank you guys again, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow, because will I see you tomorrow? Psh, bad upload schedule? Who knows? Like, that'll kind of be the, the ongoing gag, I guess, but only only the real ones will know. <laughs> like, other than that, it'll people will be like, what is it? No, I'm not going to die. But hopefully I see you guys tomorrow in the form of a video. Yeah, I think that's all I got. Thank you guys again, and hopefully I see you tomorrow.